What was that? You got a three right now. Okay. What about over there? Got a lot, right? Yeah, we gotta pull it. Yeah, that. pull it that way. My friend. See. Don't put in that here. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. I just got that this morning. <laughs> Here we got a artificial turf insulation going in. So at this point of the process, we are raking out the dirt that was already there before we lay down our 57 rock and then 89 rock on top of that. So we're just getting it all so it's four inches below the string line so we have enough room to put our 57 rock, compact it down, and then drop the 89 rock on top of that. Um, we got our string line running one way and then we set up another string line going the other way but this yard was just all out of whack with how the dirt was there was water sitting in the middle so it was like a little ravine it basically made so we kind of had to spread all that out and get that hole out of there but other than that I'm just raking it out right now getting it smooth We got this turf edging in here and uh, we're not going to put it along the house because we can tuck it along there and along this shed and to be honest a lot of people wouldn't even do it up against here normally just freestanding edges like we're going to have a freestanding edge here that's going to go and then this is going to be a little planter bed so we're going to have to run a straight line board right here but we went ahead and put one along the fence just because it'll make it a nicer line than trying to cut the turf through in here and all that stuff. It would be easier to do it without that, but wouldn't be nicer. This thing's got to go way down. Yeah, make sure it's not pushing on that line over there too, because it might push it. So what are you doing tomorrow? I think we're going to do the uh, 
Remember the papers over there? The old man one? The leftovers? Oh, see, sí. yeah, 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 yeah. That little pad. Yeah. All right, so we are running out of 57 rock. I got that from my house, a big pile. I loaded up about four yards. So we're gonna go back to the house and get some more. And then we need a layer of 89 rock on top of the 57 that we'll have to go buy because we don't have that at the house. Would be handy if we did, but. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a broom. So we can clean up the driveway with the 57 rock. All right, so we got all of our border set in here. Um, we ran out of 57 rock. This is the area left that we need rock in. So we're just gonna fill this area in with 89 rock and then top all this off with 89 rock, about an inch and a half. We got to bring it up to this board. It needs to be flat level with this board because the boarding, this edging here, is what we staple the end of the turf to. We go around and staple all of it there, and then here we just run our nails into it along the side everywhere. There's all nails going throughout the pad, but especially a lot right on the side because there's no edging there. You got to just nail it and then tuck it right up against that the house so we're gonna start bringing in some 89 rock now and uh, leveling it out and compacting it so after getting the 89 rock in here we're still short in this corner so I'm sending Ethan to go get another yard and then there'll be plenty plus we have to screep this out so we'll have some extra to fill up over here a little bit and then whatever extra we'll just take back to the house because we have a little pile going at the house so we got the turf rolled out on here got a six foot piece coming tomorrow six by 15 that'll fill that area and so now we're going to start putting some nails in and stretching it out a little bit first thing we should probably do is staple this side though just well, I want to the... hold this back real quick and then I'm going to cut out that step and then we can staple it all down. Yeah. Because it's going to be easier to cut it before we staple it. Yep. So here, let me get down here. And remember, we want it like, you know, that height on the step. So let's cut that thing like right here. Yeah, you're saying like halfway up. Yeah, yeah. So at this point, before we start stretching the turf with our carpet kickers and putting in nails, we are going to staple this edge. That's what me and Ethan are doing right now. We are going around 
and putting some crown staples in here. Um, and we're putting it in into that board that we installed earlier. That's what the board is there for. It's also the edging, but it's also something to secure the turf down. So you just go along and staple it every two to three inches on the border to give it really a nice secure hold. And so when we go to stretch with our carpet kickers and put our nails in, we're going to be stretching away from this side. So we're going to start on this side that we just stapled in and go towards the fence area. I got the turf jeans on. There you go. The ones with the holes. Oh. The ones that have already got a hole on it. <laughs> like that? This part of the process, I am putting in the nails along the border. Nails go all throughout the border. I've seen some people put nails in the infield too, but we don't leave nails in the infield. We only put them in while we're stretching to hold that stretch. But all of these nails will be left in, so it's very key to spread the grass blades out before you just hammer it down in there so that whenever you release the blades, it covers it back up. It's a pretty important part of this process when you're nailing in the edge. Okay. Okay. Level. Now we can start stretching it and nailing it. You did that whole side? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? Yes. See, four is good. Mm -hmm. All right, E. Not bad. Maybe five, maybe six. Yo, E. Alright. Okay, what up? Oh, yeah, didn't we learn it's supposed to go there? It's like the nail spot. It's like it smashed the fucking thing last time. So this is the stretching process. We are using our carpet kickers, kicking it with our knees, and then putting nails in so that it keeps that stretch. And we're only putting the nails halfway down because like I said before, we don't leave these nails in here. We take them out after we staple in the other end. Now that we got all of our infill nails in, we're going to start nailing all the sides. And then once the sides are nailed in, we can come through and take these out. Yeah, every five, six inches. Are we doing the, the whole like one, two, three, and then two? And then one, two, three, two? Yep. Proper way. So you want me to put in the nails, right? See, senor, every six inches, right? yeah, every six or five inches, all the way down. Alright, so which side's nailed in? 
nailed. Oh, so nailed. that whole side's nailed yeah. in, and this whole side's nailed in. So it's okay. Really, it's really just that one strip. No, he nailed. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. That corner. Jose, which side did you nail in over here? I know he nailed in the this side along the concrete. You didn't nail this in, did you? No. No. Okay. I put those all in there. Okay, you did this? Yep. All all around the edge right there. So now that all of our sides are nailed in and sides are stapled in, we can go through and pick up all of our nails that are inside the infield of the turf because these nails won't be holding it down. We were just using them to hold our stretch while we nailed the outside in and that's holding the stretch now. Huh? 50 years old. Strong guy. All right, so tomorrow, we're gonna come back and uh, that piece is gonna be getting delivered over there. And we're gonna put that in and then uh, put the infill. This is getting pet infill, so when the dogs and cats pee on it, it won't stink. So that's the plan for this one. And we'll get everything cut into place and looking right. 